Hey everybody, I've got quite a few questions about how to create a friend requests function in Adalo. Um, it's a little bit different than the follow, un, you know, followers and following type function. Uh, there are some similarities, which I will show you, um, but it's also uh, quite a bit more difficult to do, actually, and um, there's quite a few differences as well. So um, we'll just dive right in here. I've just got a home screen here. Um, also, I did want to say also that um, if you haven't watched the unfollow, you know, the followers and following uh, tutorial, I would watch that first before watching this. Um, I think it would help you out a lot, and then um, and then you can dive into building building out the friends fun function. It's not hard; it's just very specific. It has to follow a very specific workflow to make it work. Um, so I've just got a home screen here uh, to start out. Let's just go over to database here, and I'm going to add a relationship to users uh, under the users collection, and we're actually just going to call it followers and following still, um, so that we can differentiate between the two. Um, and again, this is many to many. Uh, we'll call this followers, and we'll call this uh, following. Um, and again, this is just for differentiation. We're going to call it friends, right, and friend, friend requests, but we have to have a way to distinguish between the two. So um, uh, that's pretty much it for the users collection. Now let's add another collection called requests here. And basically this collection is going to act as a holder uh, for requests when they are in limbo, right? So this is just really going to hold the data of each user um, and I like to say a sending user can have multiple requests. A request belongs to one sending user. Okay, so that's what this, this field is going to be. This is going to be the sending user. And before we forget, let's make sure to go back to our users collection and change the field that was automatically created. So we'll call this sent requests. And then we can go back to our requests collection and add another one for the receiving user. All right, and this is going to be the exact same way. It's one to many here. Um, we'll just call this receiving user. And we need to add one more. Well, before we do that, let's go back here and name this received requests. All right. Um, and before we are finished with the database, let's add one more property here. Uh, the name one is not really going to be used. We'll just leave that one blank. But let's add a true false here that says accepted. All right. Um, and we'll kind of see kind of why that is in just a second. Uh, this video will probably be split up into two parts just because it's so in depth um, and it's kind of a lengthy process. Um, but uh, but still, we'll we'll get through it. Uh, so let's add a custom list here. Let's see custom list and this is going to be a list of users um, but we don't want to see ourselves in the list so let's just filter this out so that the email uh, is not equal to our own or the logged in user email and then the title for this is going to be just you know maybe the the current users email or actually let's do their full name current user full name and then let's make the subtitle the email instead so this is going to be the current user's uh, email here. And then what we want to do is let's add some buttons here um, for our user to be able to add. You know, when we're using the app, we want to be able to add and remove uh, whoever this user is, right? So let's just add some icons here. Um, and let's change this one to maybe person add. We'll change the color. And then I'm just going to alt click and drag that down to duplicate it. And we'll call this one maybe like syncing because we want to we want an icon to show that, yes, you've rec you've made a request and it's pending. Right. The other user has not accepted that request yet. So I like using this little sync icon here. And uh, let's maybe add one for remove as well. So I'm just going to alt click drag here again. And maybe this one is just the remove icon. And we'll, let's just make this one red, I guess. Something like that. 
Okay. Um, we will add some actions to this in just a second and some filtering uh, to it, but let's go ahead and build out the requests page so that you know a user can see what requests are being sent to them. Uh, so we'll just add a screen here called friend, re friend requests. All right. And on this list, let's go ahead and add, or on this screen rather, let's go ahead and add um, another list here, another custom list. And this time, this is going to be a list of requests, except we don't want to look at all the requests. We only want to look at the, the request that, uh, where the logged in user is the receiver. You see that there? It says logged in user requests where they are the receiving user. So we'll just choose that one. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add, and edit some of this text here so that this is the maybe the current requests sending users uh, full name and maybe this is going to be the uh, current requests sending users email right and let's go ahead and add maybe like an accept button right here so that they can accept the request all right, make this a little bit smaller, take away the icon, maybe we'll call this accept, if I can spell it right, there we go, and let's make it green, because green's good, right, all right, and so the action for this button is going to do th uh, three main things, um, it's going to both update the, and this is how it's kind of similar to the follow followers function, uh, but it's going to uh, update the current request sending user all right uh, to include we want their followers whoever sent the request we want it to include uh, the logged in user underneath their followers but because this is a friendship type relationship this is mutual we also want to add the logged in user to their following um, and this is different from the followers uh, following function in that uh, you know, on Twitter or Instagram, right? I can follow you, but you may not follow me, or vice versa. Whereas a friend request is mutual. So as soon as they hit re hit accept there, uh, that relationship between the two people is established. Um, so we need to add them to both fields here, and then we also need to update the logged in user to add whoever the you know the current requests sending user is. Okay, so we'll just add the current requests sending user and you can actually just hold that your cursor there to get the tooltip to make sure that you're picking the right one um, and this the following is going to be the same thing so add the current requests sending user all right and um, so that that pretty much wraps it up uh, for that well actually I'm sorry we need to go back in and update this request actually right so let's go to update the current request and we're just going to change this to accepted true, right? Because uh, when we create this request, we're going to set it to false over here. And we'll do that over here in just a second, all right? So um, we want to update it to true. And then let's also make sure that this list is only showing us the requests that are where accepted is false. So we do need to add that filter here as well. So accepted is false, all right? So that's it for this page. Uh, we will um, see you in the next video, part two of this, where we'll add um, a button over here on this page to link to this page. Um, and then we can uh, begin building out some functionality for these buttons as well.